one of the finest young men ever to come out of the United States of America is running for Congress. I'd like you to meet Joseph C. Rocha. Joseph C. Rocha is a Navy and Marine Corps veteran, and he is running for Congress in the 50th district of the state of California. That district is currently represented by Republican Daryl Issa. I can barely say his name without my butt cheeks clenching together. This guy's been around forever. He is a major Trump gadfly, and he has done so many disgusting un-American things that I'm actually going to make you wait before I tell you what some of them were. Let me mention his website. RochaForCongress.com. Uh, Joseph Rocha joined the Navy at age 18 and he became a bomb dog handler. He made headlines 11 years ago across the country when he was discharged from the military under their don't ask, don't tell policy. For those of you who don't remember, that was the official policy of our government that banned gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender Americans from openly serving in the military. Thank you, President Bill Clinton. Rocha went on to become an advocate, uh, something of a celebrity, in fact, uh, advocating for the repeal of the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. He told his story all across the country. Very brave move on Joseph C. Rocha's part. That alone makes him a better man than Daryl Issa or President Thumbhead has ever been. Uh, he had a big hand in uh, Don't Ask to Hotel finally being officially repealed as the law of the land. That happened in December of 2010. Thank you, President Barack Obama. But I am incredibly grateful to everyone that I've met along the way in this fight to repeal. Um, it was the greatest honor, and I'm sure I think will always be the greatest honor of my life to have testified along with such remarkable and honorable veterans to uh, finally rule this policy unconstitutional and unenforceable. And it will be the fulfillment of my life to earn the uniform of an officer. It was that level of activism, uh, that speaking up for gay, lesbian, and bisexual Americans all across the country, I happen to be one of those people, that uh, motivated him to continue the fight by going to law school. So that's what he did. He graduated law school from the University of San Francisco. And after the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, Joseph C. Rocha went back into the Navy and he went on to serve for seven more years. He became a Marine Corps captain and a prosecutor. Joseph C. Rocha's list of priorities when he becomes a congressman for the state of California is long. And at the top of that list is infrastructure and jobs. He supports rebuilding a strong, gainfully employed middle class in this country, and he makes the distinction gainfully employed. That means you can support your family on one job instead of three or four. Should Joseph Rocha win this seat, this will be a flip in the House from Republican to Democrat. Unfortunately, the 50th District of California tends to be something of a pig pen. Uh, for the biggest slop eaters in the Republican Party. You may remember that uh, the district was once represented by Duncan Hunter. Duncan Hunter and his wife Margaret were formally indicted in 2018 for being way too white. No, not that. They were formally indicted in 2018 on charges of conspiracy and wire fraud and violating campaign finance laws. Duncan Hunter was accused of stealing $250,000 of campaign funds and using it for jewelry, vacations, tuition for his kids, and to finance <laughs> no less than five affairs. No less than five affairs. Sorry, Margaret. Um, Duncan Hunter uh, received 11 months in prison. That was delayed by COVID. And then Thumbhead pardoned Duncan Hunter. And that's where scumbag Daryl Issa uh, sniffed an opening. He didn't live in the 50th district, but that doesn't matter. He's like, hey, I hear you guys elect slop eaters. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Issa is a real cuddle buddy to Donald Trump. He supported the firing of James Comey. He called Barack Obama the worst president in US history. And he voted to repeal Obamacare. And then he was one of those sleazy Republican congressmen who refused to hold a town hall because he knew the town was going to all show up with torches and rotten cabbages. Um, but Bill Maher, uh, thankfully, called him out on it when Issa appeared on his show. Take a look at this slick little bag of chicken shit stew and a bad suit and gooey hair, laughing off the shirking of his responsibilities to his voters. 
excuse me, but in 2009, it seems to be, when the shoe was on the other foot, the Democrats showed up at the town hall meetings and took the yelling. And it looks like you Republicans, including you, sir, are just ducking it. Really? Yep. What is your plan? They had years to come up with one. Uh, you know, Obamacare, it keeps going up in its popularity. It wasn't so popular when it was the only thing on the table. Now that they see there's nothing better, now people are warming up to it. What is better? Just unwinding it to zero cannot be the, our answer. So you're not for repeal and replace. You're for fixing it. Ultimately, if... What the Democrats if, if, always say. If my party says repeal and replace is how they're going to express it, I'm not going to disagree with them. But... Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> they're, they're, at least I got the laugh, but I didn't have to ask for it. I, I thought that was good. I'd uh, hardly call... <laughs> <laughs> but, I'd hardly call but, that a laugh. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But wait, there's more. Uh, Daryl Issa voted against the commission to investigate the 1-6 Trump riot. He voted against COVID relief, and he voted against certifying the presidential election results of 2020 that put Joseph Biden rightfully in office. Hey, I have an interview with Joseph C. Roach, and here's a little clip of it. Uh, it's gonna drop next week, check it out. He's terrific, I want you guys to help him out. If you had to sum up Daryl Issa in one word, uh, what word might that be? The first word that comes to mind is hypocrite. Uh, he absolutely stands for nothing but himself. His votes don't line up with what he's supposed to represent. A Republican, a conservative is supposed to represent, you know, uh, support for law enforcement, support for the military. Uh, obviously, you should all be supporting democracy. And he's obviously voted against democracy by voting against certification of a valid election at a time where I, you know, I've told him personally, I cannot think of a more irresponsible or dangerous time to have pulled that stunt, which is what it is. Daryl Issa is constantly pulling stunts. Um, he encouraged terrorists that were attacking our country. What do you see as the priorities uh, for your tenure when you are elected to Congress next year? For me, it's about restoring honor to this district, to this seat, and returning representation to this district. This district has a fighting spirit that I think will really identify with my, with my fight. Um, I've never been afraid of a fight, um, especially for the right reason. Um, and I've succeeded at every single one that I've put my mind to. Representation for me would be focusing back on those first responders, on jobs, on families. Basically, how do we get people back on their feet who weren't prioritized by their representatives in the first place, but then got hit by a pandemic and got hit by an economic challenge um, and are still trying to find their way back on the feet. Joseph Rocha is running for Congress in the 50th district in California. And this could be the district that ends up saving the House majority for the Democrats. Joseph Rocha has the capacity to lead. He's got the capacity to fight. He's been proving it over and over his entire life. He is the type of Democrat California needs. He is the type of Democrat the Democratic Party needs. I predict that he will be one of the leading voices in the party 20 years from now. So get on board, why don't you? Rocha for Congress.com. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the Joseph C. Rocha interview. It's going to be dropping in a couple days. Y'all see Ta Tani's back? Hey, Tom. She's very excited, but right now she's taking a little nap. Tom is singing the theme song. You can't beep. Oh, there's a squirrel.